Hey YouTube, back again. I just wanted to talk uh, about amperage and uh, how people are using these fluke meters. Uh, I've seen a lot of clamp on fluke meters, even this type, um, where you can slip it in here. Here's my uh, dual cell. I'm just finishing uh, my bench test on these. Um, after I do them individually, I put them back in series and I let them run for a little while in series and I take my readings. Um, a lot of people are going like this and they're this kind or clamp on kind, I don't care which one you buy. The odds are that you're not you're not spending fifteen hundred dollars on an amp meter. Look at saying point one. I can get it to say point five if I slide it down towards the tip a little bit. But my point is is that those readings are all wrong. I talked to the fluke rep, uh, he even sent me out a catalog and I spoke with him and he said that with the exception of this meter here all the other fluke clamp on meters do not read AC voltage through the air so all these meters I see you guys using out there to show your uh, amperage with uh, are giving false readings they're only meant they're only meant to read AC amperage through the air not DC so unless you're spending fifteen hundred dollars on this one here which um, odds are you're not your amperage readings are wrong unless you're going in line <clears throat> and to do that in series to put your amp meter right in series with your circuit to see what it's doing you have to turn the circuit off and that's your amperage that's what I'm doing right now nine amps which is a correct reading because this is my circuit this is make complete my circuit I take it off and it stops bubbling because that's the only way you're gonna get a, a correct true reading I mean they, they make some nice digital uh, inline amp meters I've seen some fellas using those and, and they're perfectly acceptable if you're gonna use something like this you know you might as well just guess at what your amp is so um, other than that uh, this is DHC and we're out